I'm Brian Christner, and this is The Byte, a bite-sized podcast about containers, cloud, and tech. Welcome back to The Byte. This is episode number 54. In this episode, we're going to talk about tail scale and how they make private networks easy. Now, I'm going to just going to ask you straight out, how many people enjoy using a VPN? I'm sure not many people will raise their hands. I'm one of those people. I mean, OpenVPN has you know, made our lives easier, but still it's a configuration nightmare. It, you know, you upgrade your client on, for example, Mac and, you know, you just hit so many snags along the way and it just stops working. And, you know, you have to connect on and off different networks. And if you're, you're doing something and you switch VPN connections, you drop something. I mean, it's just, you know, it hasn't really progressed in a long time, right? I mean, 10 years or so, 15 years, I've been using VPNs a very long time and, you know, it's the same user experience. It's not any better. It's not faster. It's not, uh, well, it is faster because the bandwidth has gotten faster, but generally I would say the experience is still the same. Now in comes TailScale. TailScale is a relatively new startup and they are focusing on using WireGuard as their engine. So WireGuard is, you know, part of the Linux kernel now. So that means it's going to be around a while. It has, you know, people contributing to it and maintaining this product. And WireGuard is a VPN. I mean, it's down at the kernel level of Linux. So it's extremely fast. And TailScale takes WireGuard and, you know, makes it's super easy to install. It removes all the hassle of installing and configuring WireGuard, which is not difficult, but just makes it easier. And also adds single sign-on on top of WireGuard, which is really cool. So you can use your Google G Suite account, Gmail, Active Directory, Office 365, Okta, Ping, whatever you want to do a single sign-on to your private network. And now, I mean, it's super simple to get up and running. Now, how simple is it? It's easy. So no configuration, no firewall ports opened. You just install the software. For example, on my Mac, I installed TailScale Agent and it's a few steps. You have to give it your email address and then it, you know, sets up the single sign on and then you're up and running. I mean, that simple. I mean, I have a little icon up in the corner here, the little TailScale icon, and it shows me which devices are connected. It's pretty cool. And it just works. And then if you want to connect additional devices, you install the TailScale software, you do your single sign-on and automatically you connect to your other devices. So you have a mesh of VPN clients. So for your home network, for example, I have my Mac, I have my iPhone, I have Raspberry Pi, I have you know servers I connect to quite often and they all have this agent and I can just jump in between them quite simple and fast and it's super fast and it's just easy it just works even on my iphone i can ping my iphone i mean it's just really incredible so to install the software on additional clients you, you basically install the software according to whatever operating system it is for example windows or mac linux you can either just install the software and give your endpoint which you know, you have to go into the admin console then and approve this uh, connection, or you can actually do a single sign on and it automatically joins you to this network. Wow. I mean, it's that easy. It just works. And now once you're connected, you can go into the admin console and in the admin console, you can notice that there are, for example, there's a dashboard of pending authorizations. There are machines that you can look at, for example, which machines are connected to your network. In my uh, my example here, I have my MacBook, I have my iPhone, I have some test services, I have a Raspberry Pi and some other devices as well. So I can see all my machines in a single glance. I can then manage these machines. It shows me that they're actually up and active or I can click on it and just remove it or disable it or delete it. You know, it's just that simple. There's also DNS. You can give your custom DNS if you want. So if you want to use your own DNS server to look up your servers, that's also possible. And there's also access control list, which allows you to granular, granularity define uh, which users can actually access which servers. It's pretty simple. I mean, it's straightforward. Now, this is all on the free tier. So if we look at the pricing of TailScale, for example, uh, let's go to TailScale. I lost my screen. So 
uh, pricing. So this is the solo tier, if you look at it. And solo tier means you can just use it personally, up to 100 devices. You can use your Gmail account, no firewall ports to open, you know, et cetera, et cetera. It just works. So basically what this means is you can use it for your home network, but once you wanna invite other email addresses to use your network, that's where it gets you. So you start having to pay once you invite people to join your network. And that's the next tier, and that starts at $10 per month per user. Now, if I was a company, I would think this is really a good deal compared to some of the VPN solutions out there that you know, charge a fortune for the same type of functionality. I think this is great. Uh, additionally, so pricing, there is, uh, yeah, so tail scale the company. I mean, you know, they're a relatively new startup. They just went uh, general available recently. So that means, you know, they're here to stay. I hope, you know, that's always a startup world you never know, but they did re receive 3 million in seed funding recently. So that means, you know, they have a little bit of runway to actually develop and further grow the company. This is a good sign. Also, the fact that the technology they're using WireGuard is part of the Linux kernel. That means, you know, it's, uh, you know, being maintained outside their company. It's a uh, part of Linux. So that means there's going to be contributors that's going to make sure that it sticks around for a while. I mean, if it's in the kernel, it's typically going to maintain, be maintained for quite some time. Now, what I find about Tailscale um, really great is, you know, how easy it is, how simple it is get up and running. But... The thing that bothers me slightly is the fact that, you know, you're using this third party service. So that means uh, the single sign on is going through Tailscale and the encryption keys are also being handled by Tailscale. In my understanding, if I look at the FAQ section, if you go under docs, if you go to comparisons and the VPN viewers guide, and I'll drop this in the notes, there's a section that says, um, uh, can I configure security policies? Is there an audit trail? Uh, does it require software? Can I route users in or uh, can I provide? Uh, does it provide? How do I manage my certificates? And yeah, so basically it's saying, you know, Tailscale central coordination coordination server handles the key generation and distribution process, validating and authorizing keys when a user logs in. Keys and certificates are managed, but completely behind the scenes. So users never have to care about keys. But that means the behind the scenes is actually with Tailscale. I mean, I I would like to trust these guys. I mean, the, the, the team is quite uh, a known team. It's very uh, full of people with lots of knowledge in this space. And I, I, I have some trust with these, this company, they have yet to say, you know, anything otherwise, but at the same time, you just have to know that your keys are, you know, part of this, uh, organization. That also means what if I can't connect to certain machines, they then offer the possibility that you can connect, um, through one of their servers to connect to your service. So there is possible possibility to route through their services, servers, I should say, to get to your service. So just so you know, it's not 100% private. You know, there are there is a third party involved and it is tail scale. It is a reputable company I and mean, it has, you know, some some very good people working there. So I can only imagine. I just want to let you know that, you know, uh, there is possibility that your data is not completely just between point A, and point B. It actually goes to tail scale as well. So just for your information, but I trust them. I'm using it. It's installed on my computer. I think it's a great resource and yeah, I can recommend it. Uh, give it a try. I've been telling everybody about it. I mean, this is a great service and so far I'm quite happy with it. And I have to wrap up now because I am just rambling on and thank you very much for this episode of the bite. We're talking about tail scale. Stay safe, stay healthy, everyone, and talk to you in the next episode. Thank you for listening to this episode of The Byte. You can find the show notes at thebyte.io and follow me on Twitter at I Do My Own Tricks.